picture now onto Lauren Wallet. Because of my background and the fact that I've lived in industrial refurbished buildings that I've actually helped renovate, when I got this task of doing a piece on this hotel, it, it was a perfect fit. I'm standing inside a power station with machinery that has been here since 1939. Well, it used to be a power station until this industrial building was transformed into a mixed-use space. It's now a gorgeous boutique hotel and spa. It also feels like some kind of wonderland because everywhere you look, there's something unexpected and magical and theatrical. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour. This is almost a wonderland, so allow me to be your little white rabbit and let's go exploring into all the exciting, interesting places that this hotel has to offer other than a terrible. So today, I'm going to be your little white rabbit as we go on an adventure of exploration. No, I mustn't say exploration as we go on an adventure. I thought it was a quirky and original approach to have the whole white rabbit theme. I think Alice in Wonderland is a wonderful story and this hotel really does have that element of surprise. It feels like rabbit warren so when I'm turning around all these different corners I feel like I'm in some kind of fairy tale. So I thought, oh, that's a great one. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Morning. Hi Alan, nice Hi, to see James. you. Hello. Good to see you. The architecture in Tesson Island is very new and modern, but this building is an authentic original. This used to be the original power station which supplied electricity to Neisner and parts of Plettenberg Bay. It is a heritage site and what remains is you know, the original part of the building. The walls are original, the turbines, the boilers, you know, so it really is a unique property now. I absolutely love art, so I was thrilled to find out when I came here that you can actually buy some of the art that's hanging on the walls. Yes, we act as a gallery on behalf of local South African artists as we like to promote them. The great thing about that is the look and feel of the hotel changes on a regular basis as the artwork moves or changes. Well in that case, I'd like that one. Sold. Great. Alan was great. I was lucky to have someone who actually was quite comfortable in camera. He answered the questions well, he was happy to do retakes, he was comfortable, he was friendly. So I think I was very lucky with my experience with him. Okay, so you guys may not think that this is completely amazing, but I've never seen anything like this. I came into my hotel room and what I found was a lemon. I found a lemon in my hotel room. So now when I have my water, I can also slice a little bit of lemon. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> it is definitely cool. I'm sorry, that's cool. I really did want to mention the lemon. When I did open my, my room, and that's the first thing I saw, this random lemon sitting there. That was a really interesting fact, and it's something I've never ever seen before. After hopping around the hotel all morning, I'm completely exhausted. So it's the perfect time to come and have some pampering at the spa. Where Jeannie gave her a friendly lesson in not crossing boundaries. So, girl to girl, tell me, what advice should I have from working in the spa? I think it's always good advice to know that it's hugely inappropriate to disturb other people's spa treatment. <laughs> <laughs> 